Now the Democratic response to all of this. Uh, New York Congressman Joe Crowley chairs the House Democratic Caucus. Thank you for joining us, sir. We appreciate your time. Uh, we have run uh, a few sound bites of you uh, during our, our coverage here, and you have been talking about what it will take to keep the government open. And I'm curious now, with this continued uh, resolution that's on the table, it gives you six more years of CHIP health care for poor children. Where are you now? Well, I think that's very admirable. We support CHIP. We support a long-term funding for the CHIP bill. Uh, but there, there are more things that Democrats are interested in. We certainly are concerned about the Dreamers and DACA. Uh, we're concerned about the assistance to Puerto Rico and to the Virgin Islands, that those American citizens who are suffering right now, we're well over 100 days uh, past the storms, and 40% uh, of the island still is without power. Something that will be unacceptable anywhere here in the mainland seems to be acceptable to the American government as it pertains to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. We have an opioid crisis in this country that needs to be addressed. Uh, we have pension uh, protection that needs to be addressed as well. There are a myriad of issues that Democrats are concerned about. Republicans have been able to demonstrate they can pass short-term spending bills. We know that. And that's what they're going to attempt to do again this week. Are you saying uh, that you week. wouldn't support it? I, mean, I, don't support, I don't support this bill. It, it does not, it's not reflective of the needs of the American people. It's not reflective what? of the values of the Democratic Caucus. Excuse me. I just want to step in with this question, and I want to remind everybody on the left side of our screen that the White House press briefing is coming up at any minute, so I want to make sure I get to the, the hot points with you, Congressman. How yeah. do you talk to your constituents if you walk away with a six-year deal on CHIP? and a continued but, resolution. I, I mean, that's hitting some of the children that, that are caught between Medicaid and their parents being able to pay for health insurance six years on that. That's one question. The, and the I American didn't... people know squarely what Democrats are when it comes to the issue of health care and providing yeah, health care to the poorest in this country. you, you, you got to no, give it to the them. Republicans, the Republicans control both the House and the Senate and the White House. They have total control of government. They can pass whatever bill they want without Democratic support. We know that. But if they want to pass a bill that has the support, a broad support of the Democratic Caucus, it needs to be reflective of the values of our caucus, it needs to be reflective of the values of the American people. We believe that this bill falls short. It has some good aspects to it. The CHIP funding is good. That's, that's not a, a keeping government open. We, we want to keep government open, but it's a responsibility of the majority party for the Republicans. The only person who said that there's any good to a shutdown is President Trump. He said a good government shutdown would be good for the American people. I don't believe that to be the case. Well, he didn't say that. About Friday. He didn't say that about this He's been cycle. saying that consistently about you know, using the threat of shutting down government. Uh, we, we don't believe in that politics. In, in the recent cycle, and I don't know if you were able to hear or watch Raj Shah, who is the principal deputy press secretary who just joined me, he says the president supports this continued resolution. So, no, that would not be the case that the president would want to see a shutdown. But one thing, and, and tell me if I missed it, Congressman, because I, I want to know if you said it. Uh, the military and spending for that, are, are you concerned that if you can't separate out DACA by Friday and get a deal quickly on that after the spending bill goes through, if you're, if you're concerned at all about spending for the military? Well, certainly, we, we believe our national defense is, is, is critical. Uh, we also believe that spending domestically is critical as well for, for uh, the, the folks and the values that we, we, we hold dearly. Uh, we want to keep government open. We want to see that government stays open. And if Republicans need Democratic votes to do that, they will talk right. to Democrats. They're not talking to Democrats right now. They're simply, they, they announced their bill last night without talking to a Democrat. All right. I'm going to step in here. Congressman Joe Crowley of the great state of New York, appreciate your time. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you.